PC Perspective's coverage of CES 2016 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everyone, Ryan Shrout here. We're at the AMD booth at CES 2016, and uh, we're going to show you a demo of uh, AMD's next generation Polaris architecture running. Now, this is a demo that we've already talked about on the podcast. We've talked about that we saw at the uh, Radeon Technology Group Summit. So I'm going to go ahead and start this, these two machines side by side here. And uh, so what we're running is, this is a Star Wars Battlefront. This is one of the training missions. Uh, running at 1080p, uh, frame rate capped at 60 frames per second. And what we're looking at here in the middle is actually power consumption. So we are comparing uh, power consumption between two systems. Uh, one of them has a GeForce GTX 950. And the other has uh, an unnamed Polaris GPU in it. So what you'll see is the game looks good, it runs smooth, everything that you would expect is actually uh, going on here. Um, the, the systems are actually behind the monitors, they're running in mini ITX configurations, but they're kind of closer to what you would see in kind of a high-end-ish gaming notebook. Uh, like we said, GTX 950, unnamed in the other, and if you look at the actual power consumption numbers, you'll see that the... Uh, NVIDIA system is somewhere around 155 to 160 watts, while the AMD system is somewhere in the 85 to 90 watts. Um, and as I, I can't really drive both demos at the same time, so we'll see some consistent crashing into uh, uh, the game here. But you can see the power, power consumption difference there. Now, this is whole system power consumption. This is not um, GPU power consumption, so that's something to keep in mind, obviously. Uh, but clearly a difference here, and so it's clearly something to look forward to for uh, Polaris later this year.